Cupra brand says it sets out to redefine high performance. Our first perspective on what that really means comes in the form of this Cupra Attica model, which takes some of the Volkswagen Group's choiciest engineering elements and blends them into a rapid family-friendly package delivering 300 PS, four-wheel drive, launch control and paddle shift DSG transmission. No one else in your street is likely to have one. But should you, could you want one? Let's find out. In terms of the engineering behind this car, there's nothing we haven't seen before in a Volkswagen Group model, but the Cupra engineers credit themselves with bringing all the various ingredients together in a form never previously seen in one of the Wolfsburg conglomerate's SUVs. The elements in question include a 300 PS 2-litre TSI turbo petrol engine borrowed from the Volkswagen Golf R and much the same other engineering elements you'd also find on that car. A 7-speed DSG paddle shift gearbox, a Haldex four-wheel drive system and stiff, strong, modular MQB architecture. Dynamic chassis control adaptive dampers are also standard fit and there are five driving settings including a choice of comfort, sport or max attack Cupra driving modes. This car sits 10 millimetres closer to the road than an ordinary Attica and uses retuned springs and dampers along with big 19 inch wheels so the ride quality is inevitably somewhat firm but of course body control and corner turning will be of a different order too. It's satisfyingly rapid, rest to 62 miles an hour occupying 5.2 seconds on route to 153 miles an hour flat out. That's if you make full use of the standard launch control system and select the angriest of the five drive profile driving modes, Cupra, at which point the quad pipe exhaust parps and pops engagingly as you flick through the steering paddles and enjoy quicker downshifts from the DSG gearbox. Driving that way won't do much for running cost efficiency, of course. During those times when you're a little less focused on ultimate speed, this Cupra Attica is supposed to be capable of up to 34 mpg on the WLTP combined cycle and 168 grams per kilometre of CO2. It's hard to create a visual brand identity when the starting point for the product in question has to be someone else's car. Still, Cupra design director Alejandro Mesonero Romanos, who styled the Attica in the first place, has tried hard here, resisting the temptation for over-embellishment and settling on a reasonably subtle styling package offering just enough to set this Cupra Attica apart from its humbler Seat-branded showroom stablemates. Time to take a seat inside. Well, efforts have certainly been made here to imbue more of a premium feel. Key enhancements, including these Alcantara-trimmed black sports seats, plus there's orange-stitched leather for the steering wheel and gear shifter, illuminated door sill scuff plates and alloy pedals. More significant, though, is the instrument cluster you view through this three-spoke Cupra branded wheel, say at so-called digital cockpit screen, which is highly configurable and replaces the usual dials and gauges. Anything this display can't tell you will probably be covered off by this 8-inch Nav System Plus center dash monitor, which incorporates all the usual informational, navigational, telephone and entertainment functions with assured cleverness. Time to take a seat in the rear. Once inside, you'll find that actually there isn't really any more space than you'd get in the kind of potent hot hatch you could have bought for the same money. But the high roof line certainly makes it feel more spacious and the way it's all been packaged gives the impression that you could take three adults here if need be. Out back, there's a decently sized 485 litre boot that can be extended to as much as 1,579 litres if you push forward these split folding rear seat backs. In theory, the Cupra Attica makes sense. Combine the engine, gearbox and drivetrain of an acclaimed hot hatchback, in this case the Volkswagen Golf R, with the trendy, timely and practical body style of a compact mid-sized SUV. Whether you actually get what's been promised here, essentially a Porsche Macan, a BMW X4 or a Mercedes GLC Coupe, distilled down into something more affordable, is a judgment you might actually rather enjoy making.
We're not quite convinced, but we have seen enough to feel hopeful about the Cupra brand's future. Can there really be Latin spirit in every one? If the mark could deliver that, there's a place for it in the market.